with y'all. So I am eight weeks today. And how I'm looking right now is so how I'm feeling. I'm due. I'm blue back. Okay. You don't need to tell everybody that. It's easy, it's a blue so yeah so I have my doctor's appointment early in the morning I'm excited about it I'm also nervous too um but we also have our trip starting tomorrow so no matter how this doctor's appointment go we're gonna go on this trip <laughs> we are going to go on this trip so right now I need to get myself and the boys dressed so we can take a quick little trip to the store um yeah amari has learned how to escape out of the living room so he climbs over the ottoman and yeah so the two of them just ran out of here so i gotta go get them get us all dressed Rent to the store so we can make it back. So, yeah. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to for spring break. Because I'm on spring break. Um, because I've been feeling so sick. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to run to the store and try to work on some last minute things. Um, before tonight. Alright, y'all ready? All right, let's get dressed and cleaned up and head to the store. Okay? Huh? Uh huh. We're going in the Toyota. Why Honda? Daddy is in the Honda. Durango? No, we're not going in the Durango. And yes, the boys are getting over cold, and you can hear it in AJ's voice. Poor thing. Alright, so let me get off this couch, get off my behind, and go do something. Alright, so we just came back from the store. And I know people, a lot of people don't really say stuff like this about um, <laughs> their kids. Really? Really? But I'm going to say it about mine. But we were in the store. And. Which both of them. But especially. Can you stop that? But especially. <laughs> How are you three years old and already a clown? Stop that. Anyway. So AJ especially was like. Such a joy in the store today. He was such a joy. And then he, you know, he was making, you know, he was a joy to everybody else too because he had to speak to everybody and hey. And there was a baby crying. So after that, he had to tell everybody that uh, the baby was crying. And um, <clears throat> so when I finished getting everything and went to checkout, he helped me, you know, do checkout because I went to the self-checkout. And he actually rung up everything. I'm like, look at you. Like, he just did it so great today that I just, I hate that I didn't get him a, a car. You want a car? I'm going to get you on, an, another car tomorrow. So, yeah, I owe you because you, you did great today. Yeah, you did good. Wait, why we go? Hmm? Why we go? Uh oh. Are you gonna take my watch off? And it happened on. And it on. Why? And it on. Why do you want to put it on? I put it on AJ. On AJ. See? On. Let me tighten it up. But yeah, so tomorrow while we're out, before we drop them off, I'm going to, um,. I mean, because I'm pretty sure we're going to have to make some other stops for something else. And, um, yeah. Oh, 
I'm gonna get him a little Hot Wheels. Cause you did good. Yes. Yes, you did good today, AJ. I'm proud of you. you hold that. Mm-hmm. I had to tap it. See, it's seven o four. Say seven o'clock. Yeah, yeah. Yep, seven o'clock. <laughs> okay, so y'all had to lay down for a minute. So, question: Any of y'all have moments where you just sitting in your house? Boo daddy, boo daddy, boo daddy, boo daddy. You love being on camera, don't you? Boo daddy, boo daddy, boo daddy. You have moments boo, where you just sitting boo, in your boo, house, boo, boo, boo. and then just suddenly you just boo, look boo, at some boo, random boo, spot boo, in your house, boo, and there's a spider. That's what I just did. I don't know how I'm going to get it because it's on the ceiling. The ceiling AJ, what are you talking about? Look, AJ, there's a spider. Huh? There's a spider up there. Huh? See it? I see my You see the spider? Where's the spider? Up here. Wait, you want to show it on camera? Yes. See it? Huh? See it? Right there. Huh? Yep, yeah, right there. Yeah. All right, how are we gonna kill it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, how? Uh, reach that. But I can't reach it. You reach it. <laughs> you, reach that. Right. you can't reach it. I can't reach it either. Right here. Guess I'm gonna have to spray it. Right. Yeah. Oh boy. AJ, you know you silly, right? Oh. Do your bubba do that? Bubba. Do it again. Bubba. <laughs> silly. <laughs> I am currently eight weeks and let's see, one, two, three, eight weeks and four days. And, um, as far as morning sickness, I haven't felt any better. Just, like, right now, I feel terrible. Um, I put the bed, put the boys to bed early. I just talked to, um, hubby while he was on his break at work. And he advised that I should go ahead and just put the boys to bed early. Don't wait until their bedtime. Put them, go ahead and put them to bed. They've already eaten. Put them to bed <laughs> and rest. Um, I fell asleep twice on the couch. And AJ kept waking me up to tell me that he wanted to eat. Um, so, yeah. So, I finally got them fed and... Yeah, now they're in bed, talking, laughing, and playing. I don't know if y'all can hear them. I turned the monitor down because it was just too loud. Um, yeah, I went in there one time already to make AJ get back in his bed. Because um, I help, I kept hearing beating on the wall. I'm like, what in the world? So I bust in there, and he was in the crib with Amari, laying on his back. With his feet up, kicking the wall. So, yeah. So, they're in there just having a ball together. So, eventually, they'll settle on down and go to sleep. So, I'm not even concerned. They do that just about every night. They sit in there and they talk and laugh. And then, eventually, especially once it gets dark. Because, you know, the time has changed. So, it's, like, still daylight. Um, so, once it gets dark, they'll go to sleep. Um. Yeah, so I don't mind it. My brother and I, we talked to before we went to bed. Sit there and just have full conversations. Eventually, we went to sleep. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. So, I'm feeling nauseous and doing everything I can to keep from throwing up. I haven't thrown up yet. So, I think I'm doing good, I think. Because I'm not even sure if it's actually the best thing to keep myself from throwing up. I don't know. But, like I've said before, I hate throwing up. Which, I mean, who likes it? But, you know, there's people that actually purposely throw up. So, you know, there are people that purposely 
throw up. So it's not like everybody just do everything they can to avoid it. That's what I do. I do everything I can to avoid it, especially after I've just eaten. Because I don't want to eat and then throw it all right back up. And why is AJ knocking on the door? He need to go to bed. Okay. Um, so, I'm trying to keep from throwing up. Because I don't want to waste food. Um, but it, the feeling gets worse after I eat. But, um, yeah. So, not feeling well. Um, had my first doctor's appointment on Friday, and I was a nervous wreck. Um, <clears throat> and it's, it's all my fault. Because, y'all know, with AJ and Amari, I had um, the fetal heart Doppler that I used to listen to their heart and stuff. Um, just to, you know, make sure everything is good. And so, yeah, I used it, like, yeah, all, like last week. And I used it. I couldn't find the heartbeat. Never had that problem before. Because, you know, people say before, you know, it's really hard to find a heartbeat, especially early on. And I'm like, oh, psh, I got this. And I never had any issues with it. So then I didn't hear the heartbeat. <sighs> So then I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And so I had to like, you know, set in my mind that, you know, no matter how this doctor's appointment went, you know, just, you know, everything would be fine. But just, you know, just go with it. Um, having bad dreams and everything. I couldn't sleep. Um, Saturday, uh, Friday morning, I woke up like three o'clock and I was like, oh. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so get to the doctor's appointment and finally get to the ultrasound and she's doing all of, you know, this clicking and stuff. She's measuring everything and then she gets to, okay, so here's the baby and there was the baby heartbeat 160 and I was like, yay. So I got pictures, but the pictures she printed out so blurry. But yeah, so there's the baby. So there's the baby's head. Okay, so <laughs> I had to go get the boys settled. Um, and then I just had to lay down for a little while. Um, Hubby just called me again on his next break. And I had to put him on speakerphone and get him... <laughs> To tell those boys to be quiet and go on to sleep. And I haven't heard another peep out of them until just now. I'm already crying. It'll be okay. But, yeah, y'all, I'm so miserable. Like, I feel so bad. Like, <clears throat> I'm nauseous, of course. And I'm just, oh my gosh, this tiredness just hit me today. Which I think is just, you know, you know, all the fun I had and all the rest that I actually got during spring break. And then all the fun, you know, over the weekend, traveling and all of that. And then getting home late last night and then having an early morning and going to work. <clears throat> I think that's a big part of it. <sighs> Gosh. Yeah. Um... And, uh, the boob tenderness started today, so they're, like, aching. Plus, I have this, uh, riser up under my armpit here, and it hurts so bad. Um, because I, I get them every now and then. Um, so I got a cotton ball that's, like, soaked in alcohol right now. So it's kind of, like laying on it um hopefully to dry it out so yeah um so yeah i just i just don't feel well so back to my doctor's appointment so yeah so i was a nervous wreck and 
Um, finally got to see the baby on um, the sonogram. Um, baby was moving and heartbeat strong. And, um, and you know, like I said, I got the, the two pictures that are all blurry and everything. Um, but knowing that the baby is okay and going strong, it's like, whew, okay. Which, in my body, I felt like everything was going to be fine. Because I'm like, I f this feels like, um, this feels like. Um, a pregnancy that's going to <laughs> continue. What's the word? Viable pregnancy or whatnot? Because with my first two losses, the nauseousness was not this bad. Like I didn't feel like I had to throw up or anything. Um, it was just tired, and but it wasn't as extreme as it was with AJ and Amari and with this one. Um, because when I'm tired, I am tired. When I am nauseous, I am nauseous. Like, mm. So, yeah. So, in my body, I felt like, yeah, there's a baby in there. There's a baby. I just can't hear the heartbeat. Because I'm checking it too early. <laughs> There's there's a baby. And so, yeah. So, at my doctor's appointment, they gave me um, a little uh, pack. And I'm actually going to look through it now. Because I haven't looked in it yet. And <clears throat> I didn't take it with me on our trip. So it's a little bag. It looks like a little cooler bag or a little lunch bag. Um, so yeah, so the nurse, she told me like the type of stuff that's in it. And it was like, oh, wow. So I'm going to open it up and check it out. So there's, okay, some prenatal vitamins. That's cool. Let's see. And they are soft gels which means more than likely it contains gelatin and it does so I will not be taking these um because you know my family we follow um the dietary law in the bible and yeah we do not fool with gelatin since it is made from pork um there's a brochure. Oh, so this is a brochure of the classes that they have at the hospital. So, oh, cool, 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 cool. Uh, prenatal classes, like, you know, birthing classes and things like that. Um, I did, um, with AJ, I did a um, breastfeeding class. Um, and the birthing class, like the labor and delivery, childbirth class, what is it called? But yeah, birthing class. And yeah, classes, the classes are really good. Um, with Amari, did I take any class? I don't think we took any classes with Amari, but I still had like my book. That I had from the class that I took with AJ. So I just kind of like just refreshed, you know, myself and read over the book. Uh, what is this? Looks like a coupon. Oh, a coupon for more of those prenatals um, that I won't be taking. I like my prenatals. I use um, Nature's Plus prenatals. And they have like everything in it and some. And it's just, oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, ooh, I love this. So I got a list of basically medicines that I can take for different problems. So it tells me what I can take for sinus problems, cough, gas, pain, constipation, and so on and so forth. Cool. Oh, so you mean I can take Benadryl to help me go to sleep? <laughs> 
Okay. Oh, this is very helpful. Yes. Very helpful. And, oh. <gasps> oh. It looks like a little baby book. Let me open it and see. It is a little baby book with the different colors, those contrasting colors. And then it's got the little paper rattling sound in it. Oh! And what is this? What is this? Snappies instructions for use. So are these like newborn type bottles? Yeah. So they're like little bottles for breast milk. Here, let's open one up and see. Okay, so they're like little containers to store breast milk. So that's pretty cool. Y'all, I'm going to be so excited about breastfeeding this time. Because I will be home. So I don't have to worry about, you know, my milk supply going low because I'm having to work around work hours and things like that. All right, and then I got some cans of formula. <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure if these are different or not, but got um, that Infamil Neuro Pro Gentle Ease. Now with a uh, with Amari, we used um, formula with him. So after I, you know, stopped breastfeeding and just moved towards um, the formula, um, yeah, we actually use Similac, I think. I think um, Similac uh, sensitive. So yeah. So we got that and then um, the instructions on the formula and then the little ice pack thing. So pretty cool. Let's see if there's anything in this little pocket. No. Alright, so that's the stuff that I got from my doctor's appointment, which is very, very nice. I'm like, oh my gosh. But of course, I love free stuff anyway. Who doesn't? So, free stuff and free helpful stuff. So, yeah. So, close that up. Some other things that I also got, which is what I'm also excited about, too, with this pregnancy, which I love to do um, with all of my pregnancies. What I like to do, whether I'm pregnant or not, is which is read. But, yeah. So, I got lots of reading um, material. So, I picked this up. I think this is just giving information about WIC and, um, yeah. Not, I, I'm not on WIC or don't use WIC, but um, I thought it was still interesting to read through the um, brochure, you know, to at least help me with I, healthy ideas for eating and stuff. Um, and then this one, Health Monitor Magazine, um, this one doesn't really apply to me. I just picked up stuff. 
<laughs> this one, yeah, this one doesn't apply to me. That one's talking about menopause. And this one, oh, now my hospital that I will be giving birth at. So they have a magazine, so I picked up theirs. And I'm not sure if this applies to me either because the cover page is talking about heart attack. But they may have some information in here about what's going on at the hospital that I may, you know, be interested in. And then I got a WebMD magazine and, um, ooh, so I see there's an article on the latest car seat guidelines. That's interesting. All right, so... Yeah, so got me a little bit of reading material. Um, my next appointment is May 13th. Um, so I'm excited about that. I forgot what goes on at the next appointment. I forgot. Um, I forgot how soon, um, how soon it was that we found out when Amari was a boy. Because we actually found out before, like, the typical time that you find out. Like, you know, your 20-week appointment where to do the anatomy scan and everything. Yeah, we found out before that um, because the doctor went on ahead and asked us if we wanted to know because she saw what the baby was from, uh, from the blood test. So from the blood work, she was able to determine uh, whether the baby was, was male or female. And... Yeah, because <laughs> we were both like, oh, it's a girl, it's a girl, we already know it's a girl, and she was like, you think so? It's a boy. <laughs> and we were like, whoa, <laughs> stop playing. What? It's, huh? It, 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 it's a boy. What are you talking about? <laughs> and sure enough, it was a boy. So, I'm not sure how many weeks um, I was when she actually told us that. Um, so yeah. So y'all, I know I'm sitting here smiling and everything and doing all this talking, but I still feel miserable. Yes. Um, Cause see with me feeling sick and everything, it still doesn't take away like from my happiness or anything. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go on to sleep. It's nine o'clock now, so yeah, I need to go on to sleep. I should've went to sleep like at eight so that I can get as much rest as I can. Um, so yeah, I think that, that's everything I really needed to talk about for um, eight weeks. Um, yeah. So today is Monday, so this Thursday I will be nine weeks. So right now, baby is the size of a kidney bean. And by Thursday, baby will be the size of a grape. So, um, I will probably have another update for nine weeks, um, to talk about what's going on since now. <laughs> what's different and what's still the same. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and lay down. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.